Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite Notion widgets that you can use within your workspaces. I've done this video before, I will have it linked in the description, the previous one that I did. There are some other widgets in there that I'm not showing in this video, so you can go ahead and watch that. But let's get into it, I'm going to share with you my favorite Notion widgets that I've recently found. So I've gathered all the widgets into one page so you can kind of just see how it looks in action and then I'll show you where you can get it and I will have linked in the description box below to all these widgets so you can get them for yourself. Also, all of these widgets are completely free. You don't have to pay for any of these. So the first one here is one I believe I also mentioned it in the last video that I did, which is just this Aura Clock from Graffiti. It really is just such a nice and pleasing widget. I absolutely love it. So you have this one here. You can set the hour to 24 hour time, or you can just leave it at like. 12 hour time but um, it's so beautiful and it's very colorful so we can put it in any workspace for a pop of color so all you need to do is go to Critfee's website I'm gonna just quickly show this one as well because it's also from the same website this one is just a quote widget so it has some cool backgrounds that you can also choose from so you can go here to refresh and then we'll show you a different quote and then you can go to settings here and you can choose what the background should be so we have like anime scenery you can also choose the font and the type of quotes that will show up so i'm just going to click that and then you can see now it looks like this so it does have different options um so i'm just going to go back to that one so that is how it looks it's really cool so like i said both of these are from graffiti i will have graffiti video linked in the description box all you need to do for their shop section here is go to widgets and here you can see there are even more ones that i didn't even show you in this video um, but here's the aura clock and this is the focus quote widget so you can just add that to your cart, check out, and then it will email you an installation step by step that you can just use for this so these are really cute and I highly recommend them. Also, Gridfeed is awesome for Notion templates as well. They have so many here um, and they have like ones that already come with all of those things included. So just so you know. So that is all for Gridfeed's widgets. Now let's go to Indify. So this website here, I have a bunch of their widgets in my previous video if you want to see more of their widgets but this one here is a new one that i think is just really cute so it is a little button that you can set up and you can customize it to whatever you want so you can go to a website with this button you can link it to like a notion page um, so right now it's set to hub so basically this is what's going to look like on your workspace if you click on it it's going to take me to my life hub here so it's really cute, I think, and um, especially if you just like want to link a website or something, it's just a nice little aesthetic button that you can add. So here I am in Indify, and as you can see, they have a bunch of widgets you can add. These are all my widgets, and this is the button one that I want to focus on right now. So you can choose the text, whatever it says, you can choose an icon for it, you can insert a URL. So this is the Notion page URL that I included. And then you can change the background, you can choose the font, all that kind of stuff. And then you can just copy this link and then you go to your page, you paste it, and then this block will show up. So you're just gonna click create embed and then it will be there and you can reposition it, resize it, choose the alignment and everything. It's really cute. So that is the key to, I think all of these is just that you're gonna get a link that you're gonna paste into your page and then you just have to click that create embed option and then it works. So that's just gonna be the same for these graffiti ones as well. Next up we have widget box. Again, I used them previously in my last video, but this is just two of their cute um, ones that I just wanted to show you. I don't think this round weather widget was there last time that I looked at this. So this is really cute. And this is a very popular one that I've had for a while, which is the digital clock. I just think it's so nice, um, the look of it. So again, you can customize these to your liking, colors, everything. Here you can see all of their widgets and then you can go to your widgets and edit them there again you can customize this you can customize the coloring the unit of the weather um, you can also add like a border around it things like that you can then just copy it and embed it into your notion page 
Next one here I actually did mention last time, but I just think it's so cool and I had to mention it again. It's called whiteboard. So this allows you to have whiteboard in your Notion pages. I think this will be especially helpful if you're an iPad user and you just quickly want to scribble something down. Um, it's really cool and uh, it's just embedded into your Notion page. So it's really nice um, and I think it's just something that I recommend. You try out if it works something, especially like school things, related things. This is really cool. Next, I wanted to show you music. So we have Apple Music here and we have Spotify. So um, this is very easy to do. So you just go ahead and go to a playlist on Spotify or on Apple Music. I'm just gonna quickly show you with Apple Music, that is mainly what I use, but Spotify, this works exactly the same. You're just gonna go and you're gonna click on share. So for Spotify users, you're just gonna select copy link, but for Apple Music users, you're gonna wanna select copy embed code. So for Apple Music, you're gonna wanna do something a little different that we haven't done yet. You're just gonna click forward slash and then search embed, and then you're gonna paste your link. So it's not gonna work if you just paste your link, um, embed link, and then it's gonna make this thing for you, and then you can go ahead and play your music. But for Spotify, like we've previously done, you just paste your link and click on create embed, and it will work the exact same so um, that is the way to use Apple Music and Spotify whichever one you prefer then we have some more sound slash music related things so the first one here is a soft murmur this is just a website that you can go and search link in description um, and then it just has some options so you can click play and right now this is what it sounds like and then you can choose the different elements and you can choose how strong each element is. So fire, birds, crickets, coffee shop, all that. You can tweak that. So if you want some background noise while you're doing your work, you want some coffee shop noise, then you can go ahead and install this and just have it like as a little widget somewhere on your Notion and it will just play in the background. Then this is the same kind of thing, but it's a little bit different. This is an Animal Crossing music and timer. So I love Animal Crossing and I think this is really cute if you are a fan of Animal Crossing as well. So it will just play some Animal Crossing themed music in the background. Uh, I just have it paused right now. Then you can also add writing sound effects, kind of like that, a soft murmur one. Um, it shows you the date, the time, all that kind of stuff, but it's also a timer. If you are like doing studying related things, you can just go here to your timer, study, um, or you can write a different task. So let's say filming, <laughs> and then you can select create, and then you can start a timer and select however long you want your timer to be. So there it starts and then you can just tick these off as you finish your to-do list and things like that. Um, so this is really nice to play around with. This again works the exact same. You just copy the link of the website and paste it into Notion and embed. Then this is one that I have not seen before, but I think it's so nice and I like the look of these. So this is from a website called Blocks. So they have different Notion widgets, but these are the ones that I wanted to show you. So the first one we have here is Water Tracker, and then you also have a Habit Tracker here. So these are two different widgets that you can get for um, yourself so the first one is just your water tracker you can input your water intake by clicking on these arrows so there it goes to 50 percent and then you're at your goal so you can set that if you want to just track your water then we have this habit tracker here which has some daily habits that you can input you can just go here to settings and add in all your habits and things. It shows you the date, um, it shows you your streak um, of how good you've been doing. So if you've had this for a long time, you can see if you're keeping up with your habits every day or not. And then again, it shows you all your streaks that you have, how many times you've consistently completed all your habits. So these are all from Blocks. Here you can see what it looks like on their website. So you also have a Pomodoro timer if you wanna use their Pomodoro timer. I know there are a lot of Pomodoro timer widgets out there for Notion, but this one is, has a nice clean look, I think. Um, so here is the habit tracker that I just showed you and um, water tracker. You can here input your goal and everything. Here's another view of that. And then it just have a guide of how to use it. So I think this is really cute if you wanna have like a nice tracker for your habits and water and taking things like that. So those are all the Notion widgets that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and found some new widgets maybe that you haven't seen before on Notion 
These are always such fun videos to make and just find new widgets. So highly recommend checking these out. Again, I sound like a broken record. Link in the description box to all of these. And again, I want to specify, it's really easy. You just copy the link into your Notion page. With the graffiti ones, they will give you the link when you have purchased it's free, but purchased your widgets. It will give you a link, you copy it, you paste it into your Notion page and you click on create embed. The only one that does not work like this is the Apple Music one because you have embedded code. So yeah, that is my video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you for sticking around and I just thank you so much for watching. Leave the comments down below to any other Notion widgets that you highly recommend. Help each other out in the comments. I really appreciate it. I always love finding new Notion widgets. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. So I really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.